Bosler here, undisclosed backyard in Cypress, Texas, and we're looking at another very common site, which is a chlorotic live oak. Oh, let me try a different angle because the sun's setting here. This is late afternoon on Friday, May 28th, 2010, and I don't think this YouTube video uh, actually does these trees justice. So I excavated out the root collars, as you know I always do. This is part of my root collar root invigoration post-transplant soil reconditioning series on YouTube. And here is where it was. Here is the natural soil line. And I keep talking about adventitious roots and here are some prime, fine, beautiful examples of roots that sprout from the trunk or root flare higher than the natural horizon of the soil. So when we place mulch, which breaks down into soil much faster than common wisdom might indicate, on a horizon higher than the natural soil line of the tree, roots will sprout out and these adventitious roots need to be pruned away. The natural soil line needs to be restored and this needs to be cleaned up even better because we do have some spongy rotting bark already on these trees that have only been planted for two years. Again, it's Gene Bosler. And uh, the principle applies to this tree as well. And the reason I was called out was for that poor dead red oak, uh, which is even more root bound than, um, than these live oaks were.